ready to move. Come to sit tall with your elbows bent by your sides. Squeeze your hands into tight fists, then spread your fingers as wide as you can. Squeeze gently this time to stay. Point your knuckles down, then turn your knuckles up. As you continue, keep your wrists straight from side to side so that your knuckles point straight throughout. You can always look down at your wrists, watching to help maintain that alignment. From here, keep your wrists flat. Turn your knuckles outward, then turn your knuckles toward one another. Keep going keeping your wrists flat to work your full range of ulnar and radial deviation, which is a fancy way of saying the motion of waving. Next, start to circle your wrists. Go slowly so that you work every motion of your circle. You can always watch your wrists to help. In time, reverse your circles. It's a doozy, I know. Keep breathing. Relax your shoulders. When you're ready, extend your arms forward. Keep your knuckles pointing forward. Like before, point your knuckles down, then turn them up. Soften your shoulders, loosen your jaw, keep your wrists straight from side to side. From here, bring your wrists flat. Turn your knuckles outward, then inward, working that waving motion again. Keep your hands and forearms all in one long line. Remember to keep a gentle squeeze of your fists so that you're activating your forearm muscles without overpowering them. Final push, start to circle your wrists. Go slowly, making a smooth circle. You can always watch if that helps. In time, Reverse your circles. You can always loosen the grip of your hands if this starts to get too intense. Just a few more. When you're ready, soften your wrists. Shake it out. Relax. Really, really nice. Simple movements. Big impact.